to the Orange Age. Two big, powerful diesel tractors in Alice Chalmers Orange. The 7030 and 7050. Designed all the way for performance. With many features that are measurably better. Safety and comfort refinements for the operators. Easy servicing. And lots of horsepower. The 7030 has 130 PTO horsepower. And the 7050 has 156 PTO horsepower. These machines have plenty of drawbar pull to get the job done. Because the big feature here is power. These two new tractors offer a power choice. The 7030 is equipped with the Alice Chalmers 3500 Mark II six-cylinder direct injection diesel engine. 130 PTO horsepower from 426 turbocharged cubic inches. The 7050 is a power-packed machine with 156 PTO horsepower from the model 3700 six-cylinder diesel engine, 426 turbocharged and intercooled cubic inches. Both of these new power plants pack the performance and the features to get the tough jobs done fast and make the heavy work look easy. An important component on these new engines is the turbocharger. Alice Chalmers was the first manufacturer to put a turbocharger on a farm tractor, way back in 1961, on our D19 tractor. The 7030 and 7050 have new turbos, a new design for extra performance, with bronze bearings for long life. Here, in the turbocharger, hot exhaust gases are harnessed to drive the turbine wheels several thousand RPMs spinning the compressor wheel at the other end of the shaft. The incoming fresh filtered air is compressed and directed into the intake manifold and cylinders. Far more air than atmospheric pressure can provide. More air means more oxygen, and that means fuel can be burned efficiently, more completely, and turned into horsepower on the ground. The intake manifold is on one side of the engine. The exhaust manifold on the opposite side. This keeps the intake air cooler by keeping it away from the hot exhaust gases. A new lube oil cooler with high cooling capacity lowers the temperature of the lubricating oil. Oil enters the cooler from a port on the side of the engine block. Coolant flows through a bundle of copper tubes, carrying heat away from the oil as it passes over and around the tubes. Internal baffles in the tube bundle prolong the period of heat transfer for highly efficient cooling. Keeping the oil temperature down allows the engine to operate cooler and last longer. Dual throwaway type full flow filters keep the engine oil clean by trapping sludge and dirt. Since they are inverted, sludge cannot drain down into the crankcase when the engine is shut off. These are just a few of the many features that you will find on both the 3500 Mark II and the 3700 engine. We've added several special features to the big 7050 tractor, which is producing 26 horsepower more than the 7030. To get this additional horsepower and still maintain excellent engine reliability, we use this larger intake manifold, which houses the intercooler. Coolant from the radiator flows through this intercooler core. The intake air from the turbocharger is forced around this water-filled unit before it goes into the combustion chambers. Cooler air is denser air. More can be forced into the cylinders, so more fuel can be burned efficiently. And the result is more horsepower. In the 7050 block, special openings in the main bearings and cylinder block put a constant spray of cooling lube oil on the underside of all the pistons. The oil enters the main bearing area from the gallery passes through a small channel in the main bearing and is forced out through the openings in the main bearings and cylinder block. This constant spraying action keeps every piston at a constant operating temperature, even when the engine is working full out. A bypass engine oil filter cleans the lube oil of even microscopic particles, and cleaner oil naturally means longer engine life. These engines are designed to give you many hours and acres of dependable, trouble-free performance with power for high-speed tillage. Subsoiling. Plowing.
all your heavy work. The power in these big tractors is controlled easily with the new power director transmissions and rugged drivetrains. So rugged that we back them with a two-year powertrain warranty that covers not only the housings, but also the internal components. Picking up the power from the engine is this new multi-disc wet master clutch, which is on the low range side of this two-speed power director clutch. Oil cooled for excellent heat dissipation with bronze facings for long clutch life, it's hydraulically power actuated for easy pedal effort and smooth, quiet operation. The second clutch back is the high range side of the power director. Here's just how this new wet clutch works. When the clutch pedal is released, oil, under pressure, smoothly clamps the bronze clutch discs together, turning the transmission input shaft. The discs are sprayed with oil to effectively dissipate heat. Here's an important safety feature. Our power director clutch is designed with an automatic downshift. Every time you release the foot clutch pedal, you start out in low range. A touch on the foot button shifts to the high range clutch back. On the go. You can shift from high range to low range and back to high range as often as necessary to match different speed requirements. All it takes is a touch on the foot button. Following the power flow behind the power director clutch is the tough five speed transmission. Fast slow range box. Wheel brake packs running in oil. A differential lock behind the ring gear. And planetary final drives. There's a positive pressure lubrication system for the vital powertrain components. Let's look at the five speed transmission. Shift collars select one of five forward speeds and we use constant mesh helical cut gears for smooth, positive gear engagement. When the clutch is fully depressed, hydraulic pressure on a special bronze internal transmission brake disc slows the gears and allows you to shift easily without gears clashing. With a two-speed clutch and five-speed transmission, there are 10 available speeds. Behind the five-speed transmission is a manual fast-slow range box with a neutral position. The control lever selects the range desired, doubling the total speeds available to 20. This same lever provides an easy to release park lock, which serves as your parking brake. And even if you are parked on an incline, this park lock is easy to release. With a total of 20 speeds available, you'll find that there's an ideal speed for every type of field work and you have travel speeds up to nearly 20 miles per hour. Both of these new tractors have power differential locks to stop individual wheel spin. A touch on the differential lock pedal directs hydraulic oil pressure into the differential lock pack in the rear main housing and locks the wheels together to get you out of that tough spot. A touch on either or both wheel brake pedals releases the differential lock. With tractors as big as these are, you want to be sure you have dependable braking systems. The wheel brake packs are in the rear main housing assembly between the differential and final drives. And like the master clutch and differential lock, they continuously run in oil. Again, bronze discs are used for long life. When you run into this kind of situation, you want to be sure that you have brakes that are easy to use and are safe. A gentle touch on the brake pedal exerts hydraulic oil pressure into the brake packs and stops the wheels. As an added safety feature, the brakes are designed to operate even when the engine is off. A little more effort is needed, but it does stop. Some tractors of this size are still using bull gear and pinion drives to transmit the power from the transmission to the rear axles. But 
on the 7030 and 7050, we use big, rugged planetary final drives. Planetary spread out the torque load over three mesh points on three heavy planet gears. Rather than loading all the drive torque on one gear tooth as the bull and pinion does. Planetary final drives add reliability to the 7030 and 7050. At the rear of the tractor is a fully independent two-speed power takeoff. A multi-disc clutch pack, actuated by hydraulic pressure, engages the PTO, totally independent of the master clutch. We utilize this reversible flange stub shaft in our power takeoff with the 540 RPM shaft on one end and the 1000 RPM shaft on the other. The bolt circles in the rear housing and in the flange on the stub shaft are lined so that they will match only when the correct shaft is inserted. And since we plug into a dry socket, there's no loss of or contamination of the oil. PTO speed changes are made quickly and easily. The PTO is engaged with a lever on the console. Pressure on the PTO clutch pack is released when the engine stops. The control lever automatically returns to the disengage position. The PTO cannot start just by starting the tractor's engine. It must be manually re-engaged. An extra point of safety. Brand new hydraulic systems on these tractors are designed to give you precise control of both tractor and implement at all times. The source for this hydraulic power is not a single pump, but three separate pumps tied together, driven by a single shaft. Three separate pumps with three different outputs that total up to 45 gallons per minute of hydraulics. A 13 and one half gallon per minute rotor pump with one gear rotating inside of another one actuates and lubricates the power director clutches. Also lubricates the five speed transmission gears and dual range box gears. A nine and a half gallon per minute gear pump with two gears intermeshing provides hydraulic power for the power steering system. Lubricating and cooling the power brakes. Filtering and cooling the oil in the rear housing. This is the third pump, a 22 gallon per minute closed center piston pump with nine small pistons working off an angled cam. This pump controls the remote outlets in three point hitch. It is the heart of an exclusive load sensitive system for implement control. Load sensitive means simply that the hydraulic system is just idling until it's needed. When a load is sensed, volume and pressure immediately respond to handle the load. The only significant use of horsepower is when the hydraulics are actually working. Again, an exclusive load sensitive hydraulic system. The hydraulic control levers for traction booster, position control, and remote valves are mounted on the right hand console within easy reach at all times. The system can handle up to three remote double acting rams in addition to the three point hitch. When you need to change the rate of flow back to the remote valves, it can be done quickly and easily with these remote flow control levers on the front of the seat support. There's always the right flow to match the implement. Every machine needs a certain amount of service and maintenance. These tractors have features that make it easy. Batteries swing out for fast, easy checking or servicing. Sight gauges quickly show the oil level in the rear housing. Even the hood side sheets can be removed in seconds if needed. You can even keep both feet on the ground and refuel because our big 51 gallon fuel tank is mounted below the platform. We also have this 13 gallon auxiliary tank available. Yes, there's a lot of easy living built into these tractors. Comfortable high back adjustable seat. Multi-position steering wheel. Big windows with flat, non-distorting glass that open wide. There's a clean air pressurizer system built into the cab. Then, there are options. 
like heaters to make cool days warm, air conditioners to make warm days cool. There's even radios or eight-track stereo tape players. The instrument panel is easily readable. The tachometer hour meter and water temperature and fuel gauges are internally illuminated. Warning lights guard critical pressures and temperatures. Then there's the quietest cab on any tractor. This Alice Chalmers cab was the first in the industry to break the 80 dBA sound level at Nebraska. This sound insulated, rubber isolated cab really keeps it quiet. Or you might want to consider our new four post protective frame. You can be sure you'll be protected in our cabs and protective frames because they're designed with rollover protection built into them. Yes, these two big tractors are loaded with measurably better features from one end to the other. Power features, like 130 turbocharged horses on the 7030, and 156 turbocharged and intercooled horses on the 7050. Blue boil coolers, inverted engine oil filters, multi-disc wet master clutches, 20-speed power director transmissions, hydraulic powered differential locks, hydraulic powered wet brakes, planetary final drives, fully independent hydraulic power takeoffs, exclusive load sensitive hydraulic systems, service and maintenance features like swinging batteries, removable side sheets, rear housing sight gauges, ground level fuel tanks, operator comfort features like quiet, comfortable and safe cabs with heaters, air conditioners, radios and tape players. The big new power in the land the 7030 and 7050 from Alice Chalmers. Two new tractors that welcome you to the beginning of the Orange Age. <laughs>